last couple weeks been running all over the country here to spend the last week putting the MD back together. This is the one brought home, boy, two years ago I think it was now, that was stuck. And the last video was pulling the head and pulling the radiator and getting everything else, getting it unstuck. And I haven't really done anything from there. Besides the pistons were pulled, cleaned up, new rings, and then I was just waiting on a head and got the head situated. That was the debacle on itself. But thanks to Midwest Cylinder Head in Nevada, Iowa, they were able to rebuild that head, repair all the cracks that were in it, redid all the valves, guides, everything for me, so I have a brand new head up underneath there. Got the injectors rebuilt. Went through new filters, break-in oil, AMSOIL break-in oil, radiator hose, belts, battery, and got some, I think, tubes for the rear tires that are leaking. Still have a few bugs to work out yet, but it runs, so I cannot complain, right now anyway. One wire alternator on it, new coil, new, I guess I didn't get, I did get a new cap, but we were having some trouble getting it to fire on the gas side, so I took the new cap off. But new plug wires, new cap, rotor, points, condenser, all that good stuff. Carb cleaned. The batteries in this one, I can't remember what they were. I think it was like 75, 76. The batteries were bought brand new when I got this tractor. So we guess probably 40 years or so this tractor hasn't ran. Pretty exciting. I did take off the second battery box. I did keep these. I want to try and get these out to re-weld them in and remake that second battery box that used to sit here. But like some of the other parts I've gotten, I got this tractor from Levi Steinmetz, Carson, North Dakota. And I'm having some trouble on the diesel side. It's not wanting to run on all the cylinders. I'm not sure why. Got some more troubleshooting to do, but I'll go ahead and fire it up here. Bugs to work out of it yet, but it's running, so it's a start. 